Hey guys, this is a quick follow-up video covering the more technical features of my trim box design. On the left-hand side of the box, we have a large diameter wheel for fine control of pitch trim. In the back, we have two wheels that are slightly smaller. This first one is for yaw, and this rear one is for roll. All three of these wheels are hooked up to a high-precision ADC, which is capable of 15-bit readings. That means that each one of these axes is composed of just a little bit north of 32,000 steps for high-precision, high-resolution uh, flight simming. In the front, I have a collection of three switches. Uh, these I typically use for aircraft that, due to historical reasons, do not allow the binding of an axis to control their trim functionality. Uh, typically, uh, when I'm flying one of these planes, this leftmost switch will control left wing down, left wing up, nose up, nose down, yaw left, and yaw right. Uh, the lower three additional buttons, uh, typically I'll use these on aircraft that have some sort of autopilot functionality, and I'll use each one of these buttons for mode switching on an autopilot unit. Up toward the top, we have the LCD display, and the last mechanical control is this brightness knob for the display. When the display and the box is powered on, uh, it will take uh, two to three seconds for it to run through just starting the program up. Once it's done with the uh, initial startup period, it will display the current position of all of the wheels, um, and uh, that is for roll pitch, and yaw, respectively. When I move any of the wheels, the screen will change to represent that particular wheel alone, and it will display the percentage as well as a graph or a graphic um, that uh, d displays advancing arrows or retreating arrows depending on what position you leave the wheel in. After a few seconds of not moving the wheel, then the display will return to the home menus to, again, display roll, pitch, and yaw. Last, on the back of the box, there is just a simple panel for a USB Type-C connection to communicate with your computer. And that really covers the whole box. So in the next videos, I'll dive into some of the aspects of assembly, particularly on some of the elements I want to improve in revision. And as a last note, after deciding initially on the wheels and these uh, three switches on the front, I really struggled to um, figure out how to use or best use the remaining real estate. And uh, what I decided on were these three buttons and this LCD display. But I uh, did want to sort of pass the question on to you. Uh, if you were building your own button box, your own trim box, what buttons would you put on your box? Like, what are the what are the must-have buttons? Uh, and that can be like like what are literally the, what physically do you want to interact with? Um, but it could also be the features. Like, what are the must must-have features um, for the, uh, any given airplane that you're controlling? Uh, go ahead, let me know that in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.